sleep. Um, but, I mean, it's the, the schedule it is what it is, and um, try to get as much rest as you can. But we got to get ready for the night. When you looked at it as uh, taking home court down the way, does it? I mean, not in the finals. In the fi- no, both teams are here for a reason. Um, obviously, they had the luxury of having four games if, if necessary on their home floor, and we have three if necessary. Uh, but for us, you know, it doesn't matter if we're at home or on the road. We have to come out, uh, you know, with unbelievable effort, both offensively and, def- and, and defensively. And if we do that, we give ourselves a good chance to win. The league reviewed game two and, and some of the three line greens did pull you down on that, that jump ball. And also, Iguodala did foul you after you traveled. When, when the league reviews uh, things like that, what goes through your mind? Oh, nothing. I mean, I, I know what happened throughout the course of the game, so. Nothing really goes to my mind. There's nothing they can do about it at that point. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is, and you just move on from it. Uh, I'm happy that we was able to come through with the win because that's the only thing that matters. LeBron, I know much has been made of this already, but how big is tonight on a personal level and with the organization, taking back to 07 and taking back to coming back and the culmination of everything else? Well, I mean, the fact that we're here is huge for the organization and for everyone. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, kind of always just, you know, Questions is out and, and things of that nature and um, our team has been very great at just um, accepting the challenge accepting the moment and uh, it's been big for us throughout this whole playoffs LeBron, with this, with this Kyrie and Kevin Love are the equivalent of those types of players gone from your team four years ago in Miami How, what have you learned over the course of those, those four years that have allowed you to handle this situation differently um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I mean, experience is the, the greatest teacher in life, and I've been able to experience a lot of things in my, you know, in the four years I was in Miami, that was able to uh, allow me to be who I am today. And, um, you know, and it's not only what I, what's happened on the court, uh, you know, just you know, everything. I, you know, my family, I you know, got married to my wife, you know, I had another kid. You know, those things grow you up, and those things mature you. Um, you know, even if you, you don't even have to want it. It just automatically happens when, you know, things like that. And a lot of things have fallen into place for myself. So um, I've accepted the role of who I am and, uh, and what I'm about. And, you know, it's, I just try to give it all to my teammates, try to give it all to the organization. And, um, you know, hopefully it's be, it, it can come back to me. LeBron, it is a tough schedule with the cross-country travel, and now you're in the every other night and everything. How does using the energy of the crowd affect you when you may be tired towards the end of the game? Uh, I mean, I'm fine. Um, you know, I, I can use the energy from a home uh, crowd. I can use the energy from a away crowd. You know, but for me, uh, my focus is so laser sharp that um, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. I'm not. I don't need something to get me where I need to go. Uh, I know our fans are going. They're going to be unbelievable tonight, um, and it's probably be the loudest I've ever heard them tonight. And uh, I think our guys are, are very excited about you know playing in front of them. I am as well, but. Um, I don't need any extra motivation right now or no extra lift or things of that nature. I know it's, it's a difficult schedule. Um, you know, I looked at the schedule and, you know, they they have more time in their home than we have. They gave us every other day back home. They give those guys two and a half days of rest when they go back home. Um, but that's the schedule and it is what it is. LeBron, what kind of adjustments do you expect Stephen Curry to make the I don't know. Not my concern. No. LeBron, Last time the finals were here in Cleveland, uh, your, your first child was born in between games three and four. What, do you remember that, and how long ago does that feel? Uh, yeah, I do remember that, and uh, it's a great moment for my family. Um, you know, it wasn't a great moment for our, for our team at the, you know at that point. You know, being down 3-0, um, but you know, from our family to be able to welcome uh, you know another guy uh, into our family, another kid into our family was uh, was pretty cool and uh, you know exciting time. So. You know, it's weird the time flies, you know, like that. He's about to turn eight on Sunday, so <laughs> time definitely goes by very, very fast. What was that, what was that night like? I mean, uh, it's pretty much like it was yesterday. Not much sleep. Um, you know, as long as, you know, my girlfriend at the time, you know, was healthy and she was giving, you know, due to a healthy baby, that's all that matter. I lose sleep any day. It's a different series. It's a different opponent. But you were in a similar situation last year in the NBA Finals. It was 1-1. You were going back home. Is there anything that you can draw from that experience last year? Well, like I told you guys, every experience I've had, you can draw from it. You know, and uh, you know, it's a different opponent, different circumstances. But you know, every experience I've had, I can draw from, and uh, 
you know, it's helped me become who I am today. When you're past team, have you found that most of you guys are teammates now off the court? Does that translate on the court? Well, I, I think so. I think, um, you know, when you're able to come together as a team off the floor, um, it helps the process uh, happen a lot quicker on the floor. And that's just my leadership approach. Uh, one of the qualities that I have, I don't think that's everyone. Everyone doesn't lead by that way, but that's how, uh, that's one of my um, my aspects of leadership. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's, helped, it's helped me throughout my career. Are, you, are there sons at the age where they give you, like, legitimate feedback after a game now? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's either you won or you lost, and, um, and that's it. Um, you know, for the most part, you know, they watch some of the game, they fall asleep, but, you know, at home games, they, they up in the practice court playing basketball while I'm playing, so... Um, you know, and no, they don't have much to say about it.